Andy. Come on over. I was about to say, the first question, where's Andy? <laughs> Smoking over there or something? Yeah. <laughs> I gave up on that. What a great pitching job today. Uh, after giving up a two-run home run, I think one hit out of the next 13 batters. Yeah, when uh, you know early, I thought I thought Tanner kind of pushed some stuff and kind of babied some off-speed push. Maybe baby not the right word, but kind of tried to roll it in and didn't really finish it. And uh, you know. When, when he executes and when he really finishes and when he when he really attacks, this stuff's good. The ball's late and and uh, you know the the four runs we gave up were you know hit by pitch and a walk and then you know and then obviously the, the home runs after that and the pitches that weren't executed. So you know we, we he was very good for the majority of that. Um, I know that, that he would look back at that and say we didn't he didn't execute as well as he could early just from a just from a just from an attacking standpoint. Then he got kind of ticked off and, and finished it and did a good job. It was a really good start for us. And obviously, after that long, we had that long half, bottom half, and, and um, kind of stuff was not where it was before, and, and that was kind of at the last inning, even though his pitch count was a little low. But did a really good job, did a really good job, and it's been a big moment. And he and Holly both, you know, you were able to save your bullpen pretty well yeah. going into a big game tomorrow. Yeah, yeah it was especially especially with the extra inning game on, on uh, Sunday against Michigan, the extra inning game against Louisville, and in, in, in a short week, and so you you got. Uh, you know some guys that that weren't up, and, and thankfully we didn't we didn't hurt us as uh, as well as bad as it could have, and we had big time performances from from our starters, which we've become accustomed to. And we've been, been very fortunate and very blessed to have those from those guys. So the Jersey kids, Connie Bradley, kind of hit on his home team today. Yeah, yeah, he was great, and and, and we just actually just talked about Scotty in there. And, you know, we I say it all the time, and I know I say it all the time, but you look at his ability to be resilient. Uh, and, and to respond and to bounce back. There was a there was a point yesterday he hits that double to left center, but then the next at bat he takes a pitch, and you could tell from his body positioning and his confidence the way he took it. It was like, oh, Scott, he's back. And I looked at uh, Coach Parker and I was like, he's he's ready to roll. So sliding back up to the six hole, you could just tell the way he took a pitch. He was right again, and then he went out and, and, and changed the game. Changed the game. Really was the was the the, uh, the catalyst for the for the whole club today. Did a really good job. The elephant in the room, we kind of joked about it yesterday, but right now you guys are half a game in the lead for the Big Ten title. Uh, so Are we really? I didn't even know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, it, um, it, it, it's exciting. It's exciting. And you, you've, we've continued to push the guys to, to be able to put yourself in this position. And I, and I told them, and I'll, and I'll tell you exactly what I told those guys. Like We've just earned the right to go out and play the same game that we've played, and we have to ex execute, execute the same way. And, if you look at a game as we have to do this, we have to do that, um, you know, you're, you're not able to go out and, and, and execute. So we're going to play the game the same way we've played the 54 games before this and, and live to that standard. And, and again, if we do those things, I'll be the happiest guy in the world, no matter the outcome. If we compete, we have great enthusiasm and passion, we follow a game plan, we execute, whatever happens. Baseball is a goofy game, anything can happen. I'll be, I'll be a happy guy and, and I'll be a very proud guy, whatever the outcome is. What would it mean for you personally to win a Big Ten title in your first season, of course, but to win a Big Ten title overall? I, I would just be really happy for the boys, and I, and I really mean that because they've, they've gone through a lot in the last year, and, and it's exciting for me to get to come home, but, but also they had a coaching change. They had a couple guys that are all conference players that have been out for the majority of the year for their teammates, just for everything that they've been through. Um, to, to be resilient and, and to go and to be able to, to pull it off would be a great feat. And then, uh, honestly, I would, I would be so happy for just for the, the Indiana baseball community, the, the one that I grew up in and the one that it means so much to me and our, and our staff to represent Indiana the right way and, and the people that, that love this place the right way. And, um, it, it's always fun to, to, to win a championship. I've been fortunate to be a part of a lot of them. Um, but you, you, you get uh, most excited for all the people and the families that, that poured their entire lives into these boys and the boys that poured their entire lives into into their, this this kind of a season. So that, that's what that's what will go through my mind if, if that were to happen. And again, it's it, we'll go play it out. And, and if it doesn't, I, and then we go out and play the way we should, I'll be just as happy as if we did. You broke, you broke the school record today with home runs and back to tops of the country. Mm -hmm. It's been pretty much a theme all year long. Yeah, yeah, it, it it's it's been. Um, you know, it's a, dri a driving force for us, obviously. Um, but but you 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 look at the balls that, that go out for us today. You know, Gorski's ball is a little bit a little bit high, um, and and I guess Grant's is a little bit. But most of those balls are just line drives, and it's, it's the same as Justin Walker's ball last night and Justin Walker's ball on the right field line. And 
and, and if you if you get your if you get your body right, you take care of your body, uh, you get your swing right, which is a big part of it, right? You have to get your swing in a position to be able to create that bat speed and then control that bat speed. And then the final piece, and, and I and I want to make sure I say this, our offensive approach today, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. That's what when when everyone asks like, what do you, what do you mean by offensive approach? What do you mean by game planning? That's what it looks like. We had a couple strikeouts late, but 10 strikeouts to eight walks to drive the ball to the big part of the field. Um, we, we, put in, we put in a very specific game plan, as we have all year. And you watch us execute a game plan like professionals. That's what we did today. It was absolutely professional. It was suffocating. And, and we scored one run in the first. We scored one run in the second. At the end of the second inning, he's at 53 pitches. He's at 53 pitches. You don't score crooked numbers on one of the better arms in the league, which is what he was coming into this, in the first two innings without an error or some a three-run pump. But what you do is you, you you work and you work and you work and you wear a guy down to where he makes mistakes in the third, fourth, fifth inning, and then you've got to be in a position to be able to drive that ball and do something with it, which is what we did. You know, I'm I'm, I'm happy I'm happy uh, you know for for the home runs. Um, you know, at the, at the same time, the the offensive production that the programs that we've been at has, has always been very high, and, and it will be very high here, and it is now, and and will be moving forward. But um, you know, we it's it's the it's the system, it's the process, it's the work. And, and the outcome, and the results take care of themselves, and I'm, I'm happy for that. Especially because my dad was a hitting coach here, so I got him by, uh, got him on that one. So, <laughs> thanks. All right, thanks Get so much, guys. guys. Appreciate it. Thanks.